Ephesians chapter number 2. The word of God says in verse 1, And you who he had quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, where in time past you walk according to the curse of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, and the spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. Still walking in the children of disobedience. We used to walk in us before. Everybody say with me, time be to God. Time be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, among whom also we all have our conversation in time past, in the laws of our flesh, fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the man, and where by nature the children of wrath, even as others. The Bible says, But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherein he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, had he quickened us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved. The Bible says in verse 6, where we stopped last week, the word of God says, And he had raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So basically, we're going to start this morning from verse 7. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I read from verse 1 to 6 so that we will remember. We don't forget where we're coming from. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, now, clearly look at verse 7. The Bible says that, that, hallelujah. Amen. From verse 1 to verse 6, the word of God has told us all that the Lord God has done. The Bible is telling us because he doesn't want us to abuse the grace of God. The word of God says in verse 7, because he wants to put us in proportion where God wants us to be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He has given birth to us. He wants us to remain his children. He has delivered us from total darkness into his marvelous life so that we can continue to shine. We are just alive. It's, it's, it's not enough. Hallelujah. Yeah, we know that we are lying. We could be lying and just begin to shine within ourselves. It is not enough. God wants us to be a light to the gentle, to the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Time to King of Glory. Amen. These are the benefits. The Bible says that in the age to come, that he might show the exceedingly riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Jesus. He wants to show us more grace in the age to come. Hallelujah. That we will not draw back. That we will not renounce our confession. That we will not see God as just a mere thing. That we will receive him as a vital necessity until the age to come. There's still a better benefit. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that in the age to come, when Jesus Christ shall appear in his glory, that we will not be forsaken. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He has not just quickened us here on earth back to himself, just in vain. Hallelujah. Amen. He has a purpose of doing that. Heaven is our hope. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are not a counterfeit. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you. We are not there in that perdition. Hallelujah. Amen. We are there that are sin. The Bible says that in the age to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace. In other words, what you and I have seen here on earth is not compared to what we're going to see when he shall appear in his glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. This is the abundant life we declare. Hallelujah. That Jesus Christ has come to give unto us. That he come to steal but to kill and destroy. But Jesus Christ has come to give us life and abundant. Until that life overflow. Are you here right now? The Bible says that in the age to come, God may show us the exceeding riches of his grace. In other words, there are riches in the grace of God. There are riches in the mercies of God. 
There are riches in the mercies of God. That you that we are not a people will not sit down in the throne of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah. The Bible says, in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. In his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. Our God is good. Somebody say all the time. Thank you, King of Glory. The Bible says, true Christ Jesus. Look at what the word of God says in the book of John chapter 17 verse 26. The Bible says, for in Jesus my love is revealed for you. This morning, I want you to embrace this man Jesus more than ever before. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, many have drawn back from the, from, the, from the throne of grace. Many have drawn back and strength in their faith. I pray this morning that the word of God you are hearing will strengthen your faith Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will know that in the age to come, God has proposed something better, more far better to you than what you have seen here on earth. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Our God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the word of God says, it's not all that say, Lord, 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 that we inherit the kingdom of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's not all that say, Master, we have cast out demons. We perform miracles in your name that we inherit the kingdom of God. For the Bible says, for many are come, but few are chosen. The word of God is coming to you this morning to quicken your body, to make you stronger than your adversary. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To realize that what God has done for you here on earth is a bad thing compared to what he's going to do for you. So that you can hold Jesus Christ tight. The Bible says, for in Christ Jesus, God's laws upon each and every one of us, upon the church, is revealed. Where? On the cross of Calvary. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On the cross of Calvary. I want us to, to all the time always look at the cross. What Jesus Christ has done for us. Hallelujah. Amen. He redeems us on the cross of Calvary. He paid the price that we could not even pay for us on the cross of Calvary. He saved us on the cross of Calvary. The cross is worthy to always look at all the time. You look and receive. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. The Bible says in Christ Jesus, God's love is revealed upon us. Hallelujah. Amen. His death was the ultimate expression of his love. The death of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary was God's ultimate expression of his love for the church. Because in the age to come, he proposes something for us. Hallelujah. Amen. In the age to come, he wants to receive us as an adopted children. He wants to receive us as sons and daughters onto his bosom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you there, somebody? Oh, yes. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. I want to say to you there is nothing that is able to destroy the love of God upon our life. Hallelujah. There is nothing that is able to stand against the love of God upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is a dawn deed. It's just for you to open up your spiritual eyes and see that in the age to come, Jesus Christ will show his exceedingly grace upon you and I in the name of Jesus. Amen. He will show his exceedingly kindness. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. Amen. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8. Just read 38 and 39, please. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39. For I am persuaded. Yes. That neither death. That's what the Bible says. Nor life. Yes. Nor angels. That's what the Bible nor says. That's what the word of God says. Yes. Nor things present. Mm -hmm. Nor things to come. Mm -hmm. Nor height nor death. Yes. Nor any other creature. Yes. Shall be able to separate this is the word of God. From the love of God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says we are persuaded that there is nothing here on earth, nothing we have seen, nothing we are here to see, that is able, nothing, nothing that is able to separate us from the love of God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. The love of God that was manifested on the cross of Calvary in Christ Jesus. Why? Because in the age to come, God proposes a better thing for us. I will see there somebody. Yes. I will King of glory. Don't throw away your heart of singing for the Lord. Don't throw away your garments. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't throw away your shoes that you used to dance for the Lord. Don't throw away the grace of God upon you. Don't let the devil trample upon you. Why? Because in the age to come, God has quickened you back to life. Because in the age to come, he has better things for you. This is the abundant life we're talking about. The life you will live here on earth and be celebrated and celebrate Jesus Christ. That when you get to the place where Jesus Christ has proposed for you, you will be celebrated. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is Christianity. Thank you, King of Glory. It's all about celebration for what Jesus Christ has done for us. Hallelujah. Amen. It's all about walking in eternity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to say to somebody this morning that Christianity is a copy with character. Without character, we can serve God effectively. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of Glory. That's why Paul besieged everyone to renew our mind. When we renew our mind, come on, we walk in the newness of, of, of God. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus upon our life. That's all God wants us to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we are created in the image of God, in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at verse 8, what the Bible says. The word of God says, For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that know by yourself what is the gift of God. For by grace ye are saved. Hallelujah. Know by your works of righteousness. Hallelujah. Yeah. You can never do righteous things until we are made righteous. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I said you can never be righteous until you are made righteous. You can never act righteously until you are made righteous. By God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No by our power. No by our wisdom. No by what we are taught by our father, our mother. Yes. Those are good. Those good characters that we inherited from our parents. Those are good. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But he got a limit. He has a limit. He does not have a backbone. He does not have a foundation. I'm talking about human righteousness. Does not have foundation. Why? Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the people you are doing good to, you are doing righteousness or to, when they turn back against you, you're going to be fed up. That's why you see some people that will say they will never do it again. Because they pay them back with evil. But when it proceeds from God, because you are made one, you always have a foundation. What is your foundation? The word of God. The word of God. Because it's a part of you. Because you are born with it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For by grace ye are all saved through faith. For by grace we are all saved through faith. So our faith is very, very important. Thank you, Jesus. We can only increase in this faith by the hearing of the word of God. So it's only the word of God, the faith God is talking about that we have. We have to feel it with. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, not about ourselves, but it's the gift of God. Don't lose that gift. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a gift. Don't lose that gift. Salvation is a gift. Yes. Abundant life is a gift. In the age to come, that he may show his exceedingly kindness, the mercies of God, whom he is, is a gift. A gift is a thing that you does not pay for. Praise the Lord. Think about the gift of God in Christ Jesus upon the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You see, sometimes we want to see how you watch to people. You consider the gift they got for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So how dear are you and I to our God? We consider the gift. Hallelujah. Amen. 
That's what we started last week. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son as a gift. So that tells you how important we are in the sight of God. The gifts of Jesus unto the church. Who is the Lord? The Bible says he delivered him for us all. How can he not through him give us all things? Romans chapter 8 verse 31. Hallelujah. Amen. He delivered Jesus for us all. How can he not through Jesus give us all things? Think of all things. All things. Here on earth, all things in the age to come. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a celebration of life. This is why we must never be boring doing the things of God. This is why it has to be a, a, a life, a life, a life-giving spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God has to be a life-giving spirit. When we are coming to the house of God, we'll be meditating and be bubbling in the spirit. Why? Because our spirit is about to be quickened again and again. We are about to be nurtured. We are about to be watered. That will continue to bring forth fruit in our season. And we continue to bring forth fruit in our season. Like a tree, like a plant planted beside the water. We will never know drop. Hallelujah. Amen. Let all hell break loose. Let men and women begin to say there is a cast down. We begin to say there is a lifting up. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. The Bible says there is nothing here on earth, nothing you have seen, nothing to come that is able to separate you from the love of God. That was the norm for us to celebrate God. That was the norm for us to put God right on our head and begin to celebrate Him. I say, everybody come and see my God. Hallelujah. It's a different lifestyle that no man, no woman can cultivate except you are born into it. Praise the Lord. This is what I want us to see that we are born of God. We are not just on our own. We are not of our own. We are on God. We are from God. We hail from Him. We proceed from Him. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, For by grace ye sin, true faith, and none by yourself. It is the gift of God. The word of God said in verse 9, None that walk, not of work, lest any man should boast. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. The Bible says, not of work, lest any man should boast. It is my strength that gave it to me. Yo, yes, I work hard, that's why I'm here. No, it is the grace of God. It is a gift. So we ought to embrace this gift and receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Look at verse 10, our last verse. The Bible says, for we are his workmanship. Karabosha. Bravo su Korea Gehana. The Bible says, for we are his work. Manship. Hallelujah. In other words, we are God's own handiwork. Makabru Gesu Are you there with me this morning? We are God's workmanship. We are His own handiwork. He crafted us. He made us. He works on us. Can you remember in the book of Genesis, the Bible says, God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. He said, let us make man. We are God in it. We carry the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost said, let us make man in our image. After our likeness. In other words, let them reason like us. Let them have authority like us. Let them speak like us. Let them have dominion like us. God is not an author of confusion. Remember what he said. He said that in the age to come, that he may show his exceedingly kindness and grace towards us. He may not to see that in heavenly places. You cannot collaborate with God if you are not God. A bird of the same feather flew together. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, men and women may not be able to comprehend you, but God comprehends you. That's one of my prayers, that men and women are not able to comprehend me. The Bible says, we say, men and women that walk in the ways of the Holy Ghost, their ways are like wind, that nobody knows their direction. Yeah, you could be hated for that, but it doesn't mean. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
I'm speaking real good this morning. These are more of abundance. Abundance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. So that we cannot be a football again in the camp of the enemy. We used to be. The Bible said today the children of disobedience, they are still there. The spirit that walked in them walked in us some time ago. But glory be to God. God who revealed his grace, his mercies abundantly upon us. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, he said, for we are his own workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus unto good work. That's all the reason. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God has a purpose. He has an aim. His purpose was for us to work with Him. He created us for unto good works. That is His purpose. For every parent has got a good purpose why they send their children to school. I'm speaking. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I said every parent has a purpose why they give birth to their children. Why they send their children to school? Why they train up their children? Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Your hope concerning your children will never be defiled. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray the hope of God concerning us as a church will never be defiled. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, unto good works. We are created in Christ Jesus' image. Unto good works. Unto good works. Hallelujah. That's what the word of God says. Unto good works. Whether the devil like it or not. We will continue to do good. Praise the Lord. I say whether the devil like it or not. We are created in Christ Jesus. Amen. Unto good works. We cannot do good without we not being created in Christ Jesus' image. It is impossible. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Unto good works, he said, not unto dead works, or rather unto evil works. Unto good works. We love you, Lord. The word of God is the greatest description of God to us. Praise the Lord. He loved us. He did not just only give birth to us, but he gave us his word of wisdom. His word of cancer. His word of knowledge. Hallelujah. Amen. So that we will not perish. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Unto good words, the Bible says. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God says, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Are you there with me? The Bible says God has before ordained this. In other words, when Jesus Christ went to the cross of Calvary and shed his blood for the remission of our sins, the plans and the purpose of God was these children that I'm going to give birth to, they will walk in the image and in the likeness of God, in the ways of God, unto good work, which God has before ordained. He has ordained it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has ordained it. Look at what the Bible says. He has ordained it. So you coming to God, He predestines you. You coming to God, He has ordained that you should walk in His ways. I see somebody getting my point this morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, We God had before ordained that we should walk in this good work. Praise the Lord. In this good work. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God, God is revealing our future long to us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, the reason why I'm a child of God to work unto good works. To work in every good works. Because God has ordained. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Read Romans chapter 5, please, verse 17. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. For if by one man's offense death 
For if by one man's offense, yes, reigned by one, yes, much more they which receive they which receive abundance of grace mm. and of the gift of righteousness mm. shall reign in life mm. by one Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Bible says, by one man offense, death reign. By the obedience of our Lord Jesus Christ, we all receive the gift of life. Oh my God. Praise God. Hallelujah. The gift of life. The gift of life. We got the gift of, of life. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes. What can men do unto us? That's why we are not afraid. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of Glory. Ephesians 1 5. Look at what he said. The Bible says, God having predestinated us unto adoptions of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the will of God. That's why he boldly says that he knows the numbers of the heads of our head. And God will never let anyone fall down without him knowing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am with Jesus. He began us of his own will. He knows everything. I just want us to embrace God the way God embraced us. We see God the way God sees us. Praise the Lord. This is not a time of condemnation. Praise the Lord. It's a time of God is God. Hallelujah. Amen. The condemnation is past. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. My prayer that every one of us walk in the Holy Ghost. That our heart will not condemn us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. The Bible says that we may walk in them. You can see that God has a purpose. Yes. That we may walk in them. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't think there is any parents that will be celebrating. Having their child graduated from high school and suddenly become a roadside mechanic. It is impossible. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, I don't think you will be boast and say, hey, yeah, that's my son. You will do everything possible to make sure the destiny which you have predestinated for him, he fulfilled it all. So the Bible makes us to understand that God has before ordained all these things that we may walk in them. So he grieved God when we are not walking in all these things. He grieved God when we are not walking in good works. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You're going to rise on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are going to pray. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. That we fulfill the dreams of God concerning our life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Fulfilling the dream of God concerning our life. One of his dreams is for us to walk unto good work. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of Glory. Open your mind and begin to pray that you will fulfill the dream of God consigning your life. That is your destiny. That is your purpose here on earth. The dream of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we pray this morning as a church that we fulfill your dream concerning us. In the name of Jesus. That we fulfill your dream concerning us in every area. In our body, spirit, and souls. Wherever we find ourselves. That we fulfill your dream concerning us. For you have a purpose for us. That we walk in them in the name of Jesus. Because you are predestinated it. You before ordained it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Psalm 102, verse 13. The Bible says, Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 102, verse 13. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, 
Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. You are going to ask for the mercies of God. In those areas, you have not been walking in the plans and the purpose of God for you. You have not been walking in the dream of God for you. As a child, we come to the parents and say, Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I didn't do it. That which you want me to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Bible declares that God will arise and have mercy upon Zion. This is the time that God will arise and have mercy upon you in the name of Jesus. Open your, open your mind and begin to declare the mercy of God upon your life. In every area, you have not fulfilled the dream of God for your life. In the name of Jesus. That same mercy is going to quicken your body that from today henceforward, you will begin to fulfill the dreams of God for your life. For he is a protection for you. He is a head unto every sick body. Hallelujah. He is a provision in every, in, in, in every insatisfaction. He is in every needs and want. In the name of Jesus. He is a wisdom in every foolishness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The mercies of God will never run dry. Mighty God, we ask, Lord King of glory, that you may arise these days and have mercies upon us as Zion. In every area we have not been walking in your dream concerning us. In the name of Jesus. Okay, man, I begin to declare the favor of God. Even as you walk in his way, the favor of God will continue to be your portion. The favor of God will continue to be your portion. The favor of God in every area. Favor in your going out and in your coming in. In the name of Jesus. That God we arise and have mercy upon you and I. That he will favor us. Yes, this is the set time for God to favor Zion. In the name of Jesus. This is the set time for God to favor Zion. In the name of Jesus. Rabu Gasuto Ria Kehana. Rabre Gesoto Roko Zenderi Kahana. Okay, I'm beginning to declare that favor of God upon your life. The favor of God upon your life. Even as you walk in the dream of God concerning you. That is life of God in us. That is we carrying that light from one place to another. Yes, thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Look with me, please, to the book of Ephesians chapter 3. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 3. Look at verse 14. We are going to pray. The Bible says, For this cause I bow my knee unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom the whole family in heaven and on earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. You are going to ask right now the strength of God to rest upon you, to be strengthened. Yes? Hallelujah. Remember the Bible says, the word of God declares that by strength shall no man prevail. So we need the strength of God to prevail in all these areas. Hallelujah. Amen. To be strengthened in the inner man. To be strengthened in the inner man. That is the new man that God has made us. That is the spirit of God. When the spirit of God in you is strong, the flesh follows. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, I'm going to begin to declare, hallelujah, that the power of God will rest upon you to be strengthened. You might begin to declare that God will strengthen your inner man in the name of Jesus. Yes, that God may grant you according to the riches of his glory. Yes, to be strengthened with mind by his own spirit in your inner man in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. When you are strong, you can defeat every opposition of God. I'm not saying your opposition. The oppositions of God in your life. Hey, I want to destroy you before your time. I want to take you away from the glory of God. Hallelujah. I want to make you to be ashamed when God shall arise in his own image, in his glory. Hallelujah. When you are strong, you are able to destroy them physically, spiritually, out of your life, out of your mind, in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, may you strengthen us in the inner man. In the name of Jesus. Hope you are begin to pray that Jesus Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. Hallelujah. That you be rooted and granted in love. Very important. 
that Jesus Christ may dwell in your heart by faith, that you may root it and root it in love. In love, he said, without compromise. In the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we ask him of glory that our Papa God Jesus may dwell richly in our heart. His word may dwell richly in our heart. Yes, his word may dwell richly. His counsel may dwell richly in our heart. That we may be rooted and grounded in love. That we will not be pushed to and fro in our love. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because they are defense. They are the provision we ever need. They are the life we crave for. They are our needs here on earth. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says there is no good thing that we ever be withheld from you. That walk in the ways of God. All that Satan is ever fighting for is for us not to walk in the ways of God. For us not to walk in the ways of God. Yes, the Bible says there is no good thing that will be hidden and be taken away from you. Thank you, King of Glory. That's why you must pray this prayer very, very well. Yes, that you may be grounded and rooted in love. Walk in his ways. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In verse 18, the Bible says that ye may be able to comprehend with all sin what is the height, the length, and the depth, and the height. Hallelujah. And to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. The fullness of God. Open your mouth and begin to declare that you will be filled with the fullness of God. Lay your hand on your head that you will be filled with the fullness of God. The fullness of God. That's all we need at the church. I'm talking. Satan is not a fatal. The way we are born is not a fatal. Where we grew up is not a fatal. Where we have been in life is not a fatal. The water, the food we have eaten and drunk is not a fatal. The clothes we have worn is not a fatal. What our parents might have dedicated us to is not a fatal. Maraboshi Kiriya. Rakabruka Suto. You are declaring with me by faith this moment that you be filled with the fullness of God. When you are filled with the fullness of God, the blood of Jesus Christ that speak better things than the blood of Abel, we speak for you. The blood of Jesus speak mercy. The blood of Abel speak venture. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of glory. That's all we need. Mercy is what we need. Yeah, where we are coming from, where we might have been, we need the mercies of God. The blood of Jesus will continue to speak for you. That you may be filled with the fullness of God, with the knowledge of God, with the characters of God, with his attributes, with the Holy Ghost and the gifts of God in the name of Jesus. For it is a defense. For it is a life. He's a life. He's a life for them at our time. It's a hope for the hopeless. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shall we put our mind and pray for us many that are not here this morning? Let's pray that God will guide them and protect them. God will open their eyes to see him as a vital necessity. That they will not be distracted from the grace of God. From the presence of God. Even as you are not distracted. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We soak men and women that are not here right now, Father, with the blood of Jesus. We are, Father, may you empower them with your strength, with your grace, with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, that they will be wiser than their adversary. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Jehovah. In the name of Jesus, may the blessings of God rest upon you. I say, may the blessings of God rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen, amen and amen. amen. The riches of God's mercy. Hallelujah. Is innumerable. No devil and no Satan can comprehend it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for you, you will not be ashamed on the last day. In the name of Jesus. The mercies of God will continue to guide you, direct you. May the grace of God continue to be multiplied upon your life. In the name of Jesus. You will not run dry in your faith. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. 